Hi guys, welcome back to Java Home Cloud. Today in this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of attaching EBS volume to an EC2 instance. And we will also discuss how we are going to resize EBS volume to meet your application needs. Anyway, by the end of this video, you will also learn how to verify if the volume has been resized correctly or not. So let's get started. So if you want to attach EBS volume to the EC2 instance, first we will go to the AWS management console and navigate to the EC2 service. And in the EC2 service, click on the instances. Now make sure your instance state should be in the running state. Okay. So as I have already created the instance, as we know by default here, we will have root volume for the EC2 instance. Now let's say whenever if you want to attach EBS volume to the EC2 instance, first click on the volumes. And in the volumes, first click on create volume. So once you click on create volume, select the volume type. As we know, we have different types of volume types. So in, in SSD, we have general purpose SSD and provision IOPS SSD. In HDD, we have code HDD and as well as throughput optimized HDD. So let me go with general purpose SSD GP3 and coming to the size of the volume. So now let's say I want to go with the 15 GB of size. So just specify the size. And as we know, available uh, volumes are availability zone specific. So select the availability zone. <clears throat> let's say I want to go with the availability zone 1B. So just go for availability zone 1B. But make sure you should create both instance and volume in the same availability zone to attach your volume to the EC2 instance. Now coming to the encryption. So encryption, whenever if you want to encrypt your EBS volume, you can just check on this box to enable encryption. And here, select the AWS managed encryption keys or else you can also go with the KMS key also, custom KMS key also. Let me go with the managed KMS keys. Now scroll down here. So basically we know the tax are optional. So the tags are used for like key value information where we can assign these tags to the AWS resources for identification purpose. So let me create a tag. So I'll specify the key as a name. And coming to the value, let's say this is our EBS volume. Okay. So now scroll down here, click on create EBS volume first. So once the EBS volume is created, now check the volume state. Here you can see volume state is it is in the available state. Now let's say if you want to attach this EBS volume to your EC2 instance, first select the volume and click on the actions. And in the actions, you can see there is one option called attach volume. Click on attach volume. So once you click on attach volume, now select the instance which is in the running state in the same availability zone. And now whenever if you want to specify a device name for your EBS volume, you can also specify device name. Now select any device name. So let me click on attach volume. So now the volume has been successfully attached to the EC2 instance. So once it is done, now click on the instances, connect to your EC2 instance and check whether the volume has been attached or not. Let me select EC2 instance. And now let me connect through EC2 instance connect itself. Here I'll connect as a root user, specify the username as root and click on connect. Now we have successfully connected to the EC2 instance. Okay. So first of all, what I will do is let me use one command called LSB LK command to check what, whether the volume it is mounted or not. And now here you can see, so here when we use LSB LK command, it is listing the disk drives along with the mount points also. So here, as we know, we attached 10 GB of root volume. And now here you can see by default, it is mounted in the slash directory. Now, whenever if you want to attach or whenever if you want to mount your 15 GB EBS volume, you can mount your 15 GB EBS volume. Now here you can see the EBS volume 15 GB is successfully attached but not yet it is mounted. If you want to mount your EBS volume, you can also mount your EBS volume by using the mount commands. Okay. So the first command is 
whenever if you want to mount your EBS volume, first of all, we have to provide path for the EBS volume where you have to mount. Let me create one directory in the slash MNT. Let me specify the directory name, something like Java home. So now I want to mount my EBS volume called XVDB in slash MNT slash Java home. Create the path. So once it is done, now we have to make file system. If you want to make file system, we are going to use one command called MKFS iPhone T and in the Linux, we are using a file system called ext4. So just specify the file system and you can specify your volume name. Our volume name is, we know each and every disk drive, it is there in the directory called slash dev. dev means device. Okay. And what is your volume name? Our volume name is xvdb. Just specify your volume name xvdb. Click on enter. Now here you can see the file system, it is successfully done. So once the file system is done, next we can use mount commands. So using the mount command here, we can easily mount our EBS volume. So whenever if you want to mount your EBS volume, first use the command called mount. And then, so what is your uh, disk dis drive name? Our disk drive name is slash dev slash xvdb. This is our volume name. Now where you have to mount I want to mount my volume in the path like what we created. We created one path called slash mnt slash java home. Okay, now click on enter. It is successfully mounted now. If you want to check whether it is mounted or not, you can use one command called do space hyphen h command so that it will list each and every disk drive in human readable language. Now click on enter. So now here you can see, so we have a disk drive called slash dev slash xvdb. So which is having 15 GB of size and here, which is mounted in the slash mnt slash Java home directory. Okay. Now let's say I want to resize my EBS volume. If you want to resize your EBS volume, you can just click on the instances, go to the console once again. And here, click on the volumes. Now here we have an EBS volume that is a 15 GB of size. Now I want to resize my EBS volume. So first select your EBS volume and click on the actions. And in the actions, you can see there is one option called modify volume. Click on modify volume here. And once you click on modify volume, remember when you are, whenever if you want to modify, you can modify the volume type. Let's say previously we used GP3. Now I want to go with the GP2. Just specify the volume type and you can also specify the size. So actual size of the EBS volume is 15 GB, right? So now I would like to go with the 25 GB. You can just specify the 25 GB. Remember here, the size of the volume can be increased. It cannot be decreased and click on modify. And then once again, click on modify. So once it is modified, so here just give refresh. Now here you can see the EBS volume is modified. The size is size is modified and volume type also it is modified. Okay. Now let me connect to the EC2 instance. So previously here our volume size is 15 GB. Now let me use LSB LK command to check whether the volume size is increased or not. Now here you can see. So here we have XVDB volume and now the size of the volume is 25. It is increased to 25 GB and it is successfully mounted on slash mnt slash java home directory. So this is how we can mount our EBS volume and this is how we can resize the EBS volume in Amazon web services. For more such videos, kindly subscribe our YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.